Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and the Celtics won the NBA Finals. Shout out to them. Uh, I think he had 4-1. Jalen Brown won the NBA uh, MB, uh, Finals MVP. So, I'm going to watch this, and I got some thoughts about what I'm going to talk about. It is 11 o'clock East Coast time. Sports Center continues, and the Boston Celtics have just wrapped up their 18th title in the history of the franchise as they knock off the Dallas Mavericks in five, part of a dominant run in the regular season through the playoffs. They won 80 games all in. We will have full post-game coverage over the course of this next hour. Yeah, it's crazy, Business man. With players from the winning team. Kim Legler's analysis as well. And live reports from Boston. That picture, that picture I've seen of that was cold. As the confetti falls, got to be a remarkable feeling. A finish line of sorts, and in many ways not, because that's a very young dude who's got so much more runway in his NBA career. But things change when you get that chip, because now the questions of can you, those are replaced by can and did. Tim Legler is with us, and we will have plenty of time to discuss in great detail. I would just ask you as a first sort of overarching thought what it was about this Boston team that made them so markedly superior to Dallas over the course of the NBA Finals. Their depth of playmakers, the depth of shooting components, they did something very hard to do, Scott. They, they took a team that was really good a year ago and they took their best two defensive players off of that team. Mm -hmm. Marcus Smart, Robert Williams, Replace them with better offensive players without giving up anything defensively mm -hmm. because you add Chris Tapps, Brzingis, and Drew Holiday. And that transformed yeah, that a, them now into this. This uh, That was a W team, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. Low key, Boston might win it again next year, bro. It's all about chemistry, bro. In my opinion, I think in the NBA Finals next year, it's gonna be Boston versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota has chemistry, Boston has chemistry. I think that's who's going to be in the NBA Finals next year. If they keep the same teams. This offensive buzzsaw that clearly Dallas didn't have enough answers for. It was going to require Dallas's absolute best. I believe they could have given them a very competitive series, maybe even taken this thing to distance. But it's going to require your best. I, I thought Dallas was far below their best. A lot of it having to do with Boston and what they were able to do to them and, and the situations they put them in defensively. Uh, Dallas just did not have enough. Boston was clearly the better team in this series, and they had too many answers. Winning one, and, and we just saw a major championship yesterday for Bryson DeChambeau, and I said to yeah. him, when you win one, right, that's, that's a lot in golf. They're hard to get, sure. right? You People don't realize this, bro. It's so hard. Like, okay, I played basketball my whole life. Like, college, I played in a D2 college. I played high school. And that was hard. Bro, people don't realize how hard it is to win an NBA championship, bro. You have an 82 season. You have 82 game season. You know how much flying you're doing, bro? Like, I remember when I used to fly, like, to a game. Bro, I would have jet lag like crazy. Like, it, it, you know what I'm saying? So, to be able to fly all the time... You fly more than 100 times, bro. Probably almost close to, like, 200 times. And then you got playoffs. We got to go better than what you did in the season. So that's, like, another 20 games. So, bro, you play, like, 100 games, bro. From October to June, bro, you know how long that is? November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. That's eight months, bro, basketball. That's so hard, bro, mentally, physically, emotionally. So to win an NBA Finals is a big deal. Like, that's why I said uh, MJ and LeBron's a GOAT. Like, MJ's first, bro. Think about it. MJ won four times. So he won a Finals MVP, a regular MVP in the season in the championship, bro. Four times Michael Jordan did that. LeBron did that twice. Four, you know how hard to let who won MVP this year? Did Jokic do that? No, Jokic did it once. Curry never did that. Like, that's like Jokic would have won another NBA Finals and Finals MVP. I think Jokic did it once. Did he win MVP last year? No, he did he didn't do it yet. Jokic didn't even do it yet. Because Embiid won MVP last year. 
You know how hard it is to do that, bro? Like, that's why Michael Jordan's the GOAT, bro. LeBron's right after him. He did it twice. But four times, bro, it's crazy. That You know how hard it is to do that, bro? Win a second, and then it puts you in a different category. For Boston now, this is this is 18 for the franchise, but this is one for this group right. as constructed. In what way might this sort of open open the doors for them to add to it? We know, Tim, how hard it is to get these, but, Bro, but so freed hard. up of you can't do it, you haven't done it, and all the chatter. Does this feel something like the beginning to you? I do believe that. There, there's a breakthrough, and there's a there's something that you feel now internally. And what I've said about this team repeatedly, the, the best thing to happen to Jason Tatum was when they got and add the players that they added to this team, mm -hmm. the margin for error was greater for him specifically and for Jalen Brown. And, and then I hate, I've seen people online say, like, they had an easy finals. Yes, they had an easy way. To, everybody got hurt. That's not their fault. But they've been, they was the best team the whole year, though. Let's not take that away from them, bro. They lost 18 games, bro. So I think it was 56 and 18. They was the best team the whole season, bro. So I'm not even trying to hear that, bro. I feel like they would have still won it, bro. It was just their time this year, bro. That's just what it was. You know what I'm saying? And that gave you the luxury where they could win games on nights when those guys weren't great offensively. And that wasn't the case in the past. And so now that they've actually experienced getting this thing across the finish line right. with exactly what I'm describing on mm -hmm. a given night, not necessarily knowing who that was going to be. This that's that's now what you've created now is, is, is a problem going forward for everybody else if they keep this team intact. And isn't that what was so clearly lacking for Dallas? I mean, yes. once you got past Luca, who had a big night again, once you got past him, I mean, look, outside of a night where they just obliterated uh, Boston on a Friday night and they actually got a win, gentlemen sweep and all that, Dallas just didn't have the the depth of scoring option that Boston had. It was going to take a lot more. I mean, Kyrie Irving was three games in Boston was well below what he's capable of yeah, doing. I don't know. That, that, you know, that crowd affected him. He admitted that it affected him. It did again tonight. Mm. I mean, Luka was going to need Kyrie Irving to be special in the series. He was far from that. And he was he was all playoffs long until and I yes. think you know and again we've got we got runway to talk about this it's interesting I want to get more into that Kyrie because yeah Kyrie was I don't I'll say bro is, is is he spooked by the crowd like bro I don't get it like you're an NBA player bro you've been a champion bro like you played against that warrior team bro you know how hard that crowd probably was like that's that's something if you like your third year or something in the league bro you've been in the league for a cool minute now so that shouldn't be a problem. You know what I mean? I, don't, I just don't get it. Because I, I admire the fact that he spoke so openly about being able to unpack the stuff yeah. from his Boston years. But you still got to go back there, right? And you still got to see it and you got to feel it. And maybe, yeah, maybe he was really traumatized there or something. I don't know. Maybe there was more to feel than, than perhaps even he anticipated. We'll have time to discuss that. Understandably, Tim Legler is alongside in the fight game, you throw a flurry of punches to end a round. Maybe you can steal a round. I'm not saying that Tatum would have stolen the MVP, but 31 and 11 in a, in a finals game. What does the fact that Brown won the MVP tell you? Before I answer that, I want to say, first of all, how happy I am for Jason Tatum and what he just said about Al, Al Horford. Al Horford has been one of my personal favorite players in the league in his generation. Mm. Both of those guys are role models. They're professionals. Pros. They're exemplary pros in yeah. every way on yeah. and off the court. They deserve this moment. So I'm happy for both of those guys. Okay. To answer your question about what separated them, I thought it was really tight neck and neck, you know, depending how and how tonight played out. They both played pretty well. I thought Tatum's offensive burst may have, may have been the tipping point. Here's what that vote tells me. There was a lot of stock put into Jalen Brown's defense in this series because he got Luka a lot more of this series than Jason Tatum did, and I thought Jalen Brown impacted him. He I'm going to keep it 100. I feel like they should have did a split. Tatum averaged 22. Jalen Brown averaged 20. I feel like they should have did a split of the MVP, bro, in my opinion. They should have did the first split. They should have made two trophies. NBA got enough money to do that, and they could have did two MVPs, bro. I think that's what they should have did. They should have had Brown and Tatum. They both did their thing, you know? You know? They should have did Brown and Tatum, bro. That's what I think they should have did. Also had one of the bigger moments in this series. We didn't get a lot of drama late. 
Two point game and he hit the shot. Game three in yeah. Dallas, Jalen Brown after Dallas cut that lead and it was a two point game. Jalen Brown's the one that hit that mid range jumper that got them that win that really prevented any real anxiety from setting into this series for the Boston Celtics. So it, I think it was been neck old. and neck. Could yeah, have see? gone either way. I am not surprised it was Jalen Brown because I think his defense was the tipping point for him. Largely, Luka scored big. Kyrie did not. And we talked a little bit about it earlier. I want to dive in a little deeper. Just, I'm not asking you to, to, to play a psychiatrist yeah. here for the man because that's not, it's not our job. But just in terms of what he was and was not able to provide on the floor, it, it did, is it possible that perhaps Boston being there and that crowd in that building impacted him in ways he didn't anticipate? There is no question about it. And he even admitted it, which really surprised me going into this game. He had some sound yesterday.